To be nominated, I think you need to have done really outstanding world-class research. You need to be a really um, active um, communicator. I think it's also to really have great ideas. So I was delighted to win the prize. I think it was a real honour um, and it really did help my profile. The work that I'd done during my postdoctoral period really brought us to a stage where we could identify all of the genetic changes in a given cancer sample. Now we'd only done it in a, not even 10 patients at the time that I won the award, but you could see that this, this capability could extend to hundreds to thousands of, of patients with cancer. And indeed that's what's come to happen. So I hope that, uh, that I have lived up to the promise of, of be, being a future leader in, in cancer research. Since I, I won my Future Leaders Prize, I went on to be promoted to the Deputy Director of the Beetson Institute in Glasgow. I'm a co-lead of our CRUK Centre in Glasgow and I've recently been made Interim Director of the Institute. So in terms of leading, my career has gone from strength to strength. I think the other thing that you want is for your science to continue to progress. You want people to want to come and work for you. Um, so I really think that the prize has been a great springboard for my career. It's very important, I think, that we identify those junior scientists who are particularly um, strong and exceptional in their abilities to mark them out as people who will um, take over where we leave off. Um, when we finish our careers, they'll be the, the next people to pick up the baton and continue to drive forward uh, the agenda of cancer research.